Hey guys, what's up? My name's Danny, aka Thriftfish. I'm an online fashion reseller and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Today I am bringing you another thrift store haul. Yesterday I went thrifting, sourcing with my pal Ashley Maybe. If you do not follow her over on Instagram, go ahead and give her a follow. She gives all sorts of awesome tips and is a super nice person and we live close to each other. So for the first time in months, we decided to go sourcing together very responsibly, wearing masks, staying separate. She rode in the back of my car and you know, maintaining a distance, being safe, hand sanitizing, etc. But we did go together. It was nice to have some socialization, talk to another reseller, talk to a friend. And we did go to two stores. We went to Goodwill and Unique, which is like a value village or a savers. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got from those two stores. Uh, <laughs> how to get back on track. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got from those two stores. It's all kind of mixed up on my rack here, but I'll go ahead and show you. And uh, before the week is over, I will be bringing you my What Sold Fast video for June, which I cannot believe June is over. I don't, where did it go? Anyway, let's get to it. First one was from Unique. This one I paid up for a little bit, but it is a new with tags, free people. Oh, it's backwards. That's not the front of it. Um, new with tags, free people, like faux suede uh, pencil skirt with that like wrap or crossover detail. Uh, I did look up comps. It looks like they're still going. They're still selling for about 40 or 50 new with tags. So I am going to give that a shot, even though I did pay up a little bit. Next, this one was from Goodwill and it is a new with tags. Definitely been marked down a couple times at Nordstrom Rack. Uh, the Fisher Project, Eileen Fisher, silk, extra large. It's a dress and it has like the zip down here or all the way up. It actually zips all the way up and has a drawstring waist. So this is a pretty unique dress and it's new with tags. So I was excited about this one. Here is a brand that I keep telling myself I'm not going to pick up. I even made a video about it once, but it's Soft Surroundings. This one's size small, but it is really pretty. It's got like the Swiss dot chiffon tunic, pretty sleeves. I have to trim. There's a little string, but you can trim that. Uh, so I think this piece will do well, even though I've kind of, I'm trying to swear off soft surrounding. I think this one will do well. Next up, this one was from Unique. I told you it's all jumbled. I don't know. It's just my brain. This is a pair of Everlane pants. It's a size zero, so they're kind of tiny, but they're the like side zip, like a work pant, like dress pant. So, or like a legging pant. Is that a thing? A legging pant? I think it is. This one is from Goodwill, and it's just a really pretty J. Crew. A slightly older label but it's a 20 tall so it's a nice tall plus size beautiful maxi dress pretty sure this one's maxi so I couldn't help but pick that up like I said I've been really finding a lot of great plus size items lately so I just have not been passing them up this is another one I think Kate Spade is losing a little bit of traction but these are Kate Spade and their size 14 and there's the polka dot trouser. I said this one's from Goodwill. I am still trying to make myself pick up swimsuits and honestly I'm sorry if I don't I, like I don't know if these are gonna do well. I am just hoping they are because I 
did quick checks on comps and I don't know like I've never heard of these brands so the first one is magic suit and it is a size 14 and it's just this like ruched cut out neck swimsuit one piece I don't I think this will do fine I know it's a little it's getting a little late to keep adding swim we're kind of now you if you can believe it like heading into fall attire but I haven't been able to get out to the stores that have the good swim until now so I don't know I'm still gonna try people go on vacation all year round especially since they haven't really been able to most of the year this is a J Crew swimsuit it's like a shiny like coated stripe and then just like a regular navy blue stripe all the way down another one piece and it has a low back and I think this is a size six so these are all new or like fairly new without tags um, you know they're in good condition they don't look like they've been worn really at all they look like they just had the um, the liner taken out so this one was from Goodwill the swimsuits are from unique but this one's from Goodwill this is a Yumi Kim size large silk wrap dress. It's not wrapped properly right now, but it's got this like black and pink print. It's really pretty. Here's another good plus size item from Goodwill. This is a pretty like pussy bow or just a tie. I don't know if this is considered a pussy bow, but floral cap sleeve top 1X from Mod Cloth. Here we are with a bright and bold and pretty Bowden dress. This is from Unique and it is a size four long. So they do some long lengths. It's a smaller size, but it is long. So um, this is the last swimsuit. And again, I didn't know anything about this brand. I just looked it up in the store. It's La Blanca, but it does have the one shoulder uh, quality that I know is in style right now and the ruching in the front so I think this style could do well and it's a size 8. Uh, this I actually didn't get in the stores this is just a pair of spiritual gangster leggings that I got from ThreadUp but they're just on the rack so I'll just show you. Um, they say warrior on the leg. They're extra small I think. This is the last piece of clothing that I found. And I honestly don't know a lot about this brand. I have one sweater in my closet that I got from ThreadUp because I just quickly looked up comps and I said, okay, that looks like a good brand. So I picked these pants up too. I don't know if that's a good reason to pick things up, but this is Bishop and Young, size extra small. And these are like, <laughs> they're not full tear away track pants because you can't tear this of the waistband apart, but really they are like s totally snapped up tear away track pants <laughs> so I don't know we'll see how these do I think track pants are like a trend that's coming back I don't know I could be wrong like 90s stuff right 80s 90s okay now we're moving on to shoes which I got I got a couple pairs I need to slow down on shoes because my shoe rack is pretty full <laughs> or have a, a shoe sale that might be another thing I do uh, okay, let's see. So I don't know much about these. I saw a couple pairs on Posh and it either looks like they sold for really cheap or they sold for a good amount and I think it just depends on if you know what you have. These were from Unique, but they are The Poet by, it's hard to read this, Me Melissinos. I don't know they're they're a handmade leather sandal so I usually will go for those because they're just nice um, and they weren't too expensive so these are well made handmade leather sandals called the poet from I don't know if it's Melisanos, Melissanos, something like that so that's one pair I got another pair from Savers and these are another pair of nice leather sandals I don't know if they're handmade but they are made in Italy and they're Barney's New York. So sometimes I'll pick up Barney's uh, just if they're, you know, sometimes they have really nice quality pieces that I just like to pick up. They don't do too badly. Next, here is a 
pair, another pair from Unique. These are Tory Burch Millers. I think they're Millers, right? Anyway, I think they're real. They just feel a little like kind of flimsy, but I, I don't see anything else that would indicate to me that these aren't real. So some tan patent Tory Burch sandals from Goodwill. I picked up a pretty basic pair of Sam Edelman pumps. They do have this little bit of like snake print on the back, which I thought was a nice touch, but I will generally pick these up if they're $10 or less. So another pair from Goodwill and I picked these up. I actually sourced these from Poshmark a couple weeks ago and they sold recently, but now I have another pair is these coach sandals. These are like a coach gladiator sandal. Uh, so now I have another pair to sell and they're both I think size 9 so I don't know but I'm happy to sell another pair of these sandals and last but not least my favorite and I keep finding them and they're they continue to be in my hauls and if that continues I'll be a happy woman but these are from Savers or from Unique and it's another pair of corkies. These are a gray pair and they're kind of like navy on the outside wedge. But you know, you can kind of see it's rubbing off a little bit, but it's the corkies. Label in there. I forget what size these are. Size eight. Okay, and that's it. That's what I got from Goodwill and Unique on my trip yesterday with Ashley. Let me know what your favorite piece from this haul was in the comments. And that's it. <laughs> um, I hope to see you back later this week for my What Sold Fast in June video. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like this content and want to see more from me, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for being here and joining our little family and I will see you again real soon.